a harmony of light awaits you in a lost world of musical conflict. Michael here with an impressions review of Arkea, which is a mobile rhythm game I've been playing for quite a while, and it's pretty dang good. It also has a good business model, which is extremely rare in mobile, and it's actually business models have pretty much ruined every other mobile game I've tried. So uh, yeah, I, I like this game mostly because of that, but also because it's also freaking fantastic. It does have some problems to where some of the early chart designs aren't particularly interesting, and it is fairly challenging in comparison to a lot of other rhythm games on mobile at the lower difficulties, which means that it is mostly targeted towards the hardcores, especially when you get into the more of the complex chart designs. But once you get to that point, and if that is definitely your audience, it's fantastic and actually really freaking good. And I enjoy it quite a lot. And I like its style. I like its visual representation. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Now, let's go ahead and get the specs out of the way. I am playing this on Android. It is available on Android and iOS, but I am playing it on my Galaxy S7, which isn't particularly great. But I am also recording it on my Galaxy S7, which also isn't particularly great, which means the video quality is going to be a little bit lower than what my videos usually are. And so don't judge performance based off the video. Judge it off of what I say, my voice and everything. I'll talk about performance issues a little bit later when I talk about it um and then also i enabled this handy little feature in android which allows you to show this little circle up on the top right of the screen you'll see at the moment this actually shows wherever i'm touching on the screen at any given moment so you can see where exactly where i'm touching at any moment in time which is pretty dang nice and hopefully allow me to show you guys things a little bit easier rather than trying to describe where things are on the screen i can literally just show you which is a pretty nice feature hopefully it shows up in the recording if it doesn't i'm gonna feel like a fool but we'll end up finding out anyway so here we are at the main menu where i have a few different options here so we actually have our characters there's a bunch of different characters you can end up selecting from you will knock them through the world mode which we'll talk about a little bit later but i'm gonna go ahead and pick a cow because she's cute and you have your music play which allows you to play any of the songs that you've unlocked and earn fragments as well which is a pretty handy feature is can actually be played offline as well so any of the songs that you've unlocked one of the reasons why i particularly like the business model of this one is if you unlock a song you can play it offline at any moment in time so that's actually pretty dang nice. If you want to progress through things like earn fragments or go through the world mode, which is our progression mode, which has charts that you end up going through and use that to unlock songs and stuff like that for free and everything. And you unlock characters through that mode as well. If you want to progress through that, you do have to be connected online. And if you want to use the characters, you have to be connected online. I assume because cheaters and things like that. I don't know exactly why, but there you go. You also get network, which shows your friends, which I don't have any because I'm a loser. And then you have your profile as well, which you can view your stats and stuff like that. So I have a pure memory, which makes me feel so proud. And then you have more, which allows you to see where you can get updates. Show the tutorial languages, which it allows also English, obviously. And then Japanese, Korean, and Chinese, simplified and traditional, which is pretty dang nice. And it has achievements through um, Google Play, and I assume on the iOS equivalent as well. And then here's all the lovely people that made the game, which is super awesome. You did a fantastic job. So let's go ahead and go into a song. We'll go into music play here. Now I have it sorted to all. I will talk about the business model later as well, like I said, and there are music packs, but I'll go ahead and just tap through a few songs so you can hear the different kind of variety of music that they end up having in this as well. So you have some rock songs, you have some more hardcore songs, you have some electronic songs, you have some very lighthearted songs and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, a decent selection when you end up you go into it and stuff like that. Now, you can't get all the songs just by playing the game. You do have to pay for a lot of songs. So when you go into the all the songs here, you'll actually see this is an annoying song to have in the background. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, so you get a little preview when you click on them, but you actually have a bunch of different song packs. You have to pay for these. And so it's a dollar per song, basically. And the pack is $5, so it comes with at least five songs plus a world mode unlock. And it allows you to um, get some extra bonus and secrets and stuff like that. And you have memory archive, which allows you to go and unlock songs individually, which is pretty dang nice as well. I have two of them that I haven't unlocked, so I've unlocked pretty much everything in there. So I can't really talk too much about that, but there we go. So let's go ahead and select an easy song so I can play it while talking, which I'm not particularly great at playing this game while talking, so I'm probably going to screw this all up. So uh, there we go. Just going to note that ahead. But yeah, this is one of the early songs. It's pretty dang simple. And so it's fairly basic in its design, but it actually shows off all the different types of notes. So I thought it was a pretty good one to kind of start off on. So as you can see, you get your basic notes to head towards the bottom of the screen and you get your hold notes, but you also have these air notes. So they have different air notes. So you have ones that you have to tap like that one. And then you have ones that you have to hold like that one. And this is where the design kind of gets interesting because while it seems at this point in time, it's pretty dang linear as in it's a linear kind of rhythm game, but it also has those air notes, which allows it to be pretty much anywhere on the screen. And they actually do a lot of really interesting and really complex and difficult things with those kind of notes. So this isn't one of those rhythm games that is just about throwing notes at you as fast as possible to where the fastest song ends up being the most challenging song. In fact, it can sometimes be quite the opposite to where there are songs that are actually slow in their pace, but actually have really interesting design elements to the actual charts themselves that make it fairly challenging. 
Also, I like this song, don't judge me. Um, so it actually makes it quite interesting and really fun to play because it, these air notes and stuff like that, while, you know, it is fairly basic, if it's just a linear kind of style game, which there are linear songs, which are fun in their own right, it is a fairly decent built game. It does perform at 60 FPS. I have had problems to where when I'm recording for one, obviously because I'm recording, that's taking up a lot of my phone's resources, which means that it does lag here and there. But aside from that, the only time I've ever had any sort of performance issues with it or any sort of bugs is when I actually lose internet connection. There is one problem to where you don't need an internet connection to play, so it's not going to stop you from playing. But when I was, you know, traveling or whatever, I ended up disconnecting from the internet and the game had trouble reconnecting to the internet and it kind of caused some weird stuttering issues when it disconnected, which was a little bit frustrating. It didn't actually affect the gameplay all that much other than, you know, visually. If I was playing like a really complex song or something like that, it would probably end up making me miss notes. Now, there is also another problem that I did run into on the game, which is fairly rare. And I think it actually has to do with Android because my Android update is kind of botched at the moment. If anybody knows how Samsung does updates, they'll probably agree with me that they don't do a particularly great job sometimes. Sorry to do uh, political commentary. Um, but yeah, so I've had some issues to where sometimes I'll be holding down a note and then I'll just forget that my touch input, you know, exists, which I don't know if it's the game, Android, or me. I don't necessarily know. Now, talking about some of the notes and stuff like that, when you actually see me hit notes, you'll actually notice it says pure there, and, then, and it was also showing late and early. Now, there's different timings to where you can actually hit the buttons. You don't need to be 100% precise, unless you're going for score, of course, which we'll talk about in a second. But that actually shows those because basically what you can do is you can actually hit a PR and you can actually hit a PR PR note, which allows you to actually get an extra bonus point. We'll talk about that in a second when I actually click on here, you actually see as a plus here. So those are PR PRs, but there's a window to where you can actually hit the notes. And if you hit the note anywhere in there, it'll actually count as a hit. If you miss it, it'll count as a loss. Now I didn't miss any down here, which is actually pretty nice. I actually did hundred percent, which is good. Um, I'm normally full clear this one because it's actually pretty easy, but I didn't get my highest score. I was actually pretty dang close though. And when you actually hit them too far, there's a smaller window to where it's called pure, which is basically hitting the note perfectly. Now, if you don't hit it within that, you get your far, which actually shows your late ones here. So I hit them too late are the ones that I hit too early. I hit eight of them too late, which is probably because I'm talking, which allows you to get any, still get points. You get, I think it's about 50% points or something like that. It allows you to get points and not miss the note, but you don't get as many points for them. And then you also have pure, which is when you hit those. And then you have pure pure, which allows you to actually gain a bonus point for every single note that you actually hit extra. And so when you actually get into the higher level stuff, you actually want to hit one zero zero and then however many notes are in the song, because that allows you to go there. The interesting point about the scoring system and one of the reasons why I really, really, really like it is because this is actually a percentage system. It actually goes up to one zero zero and then whatever your bonus score is from your pure or pure, which means that you actually get a like very statistical version of how well you're doing. I hit 99.4% of the notes in this song. I got 99.4% of the score that I can obtain in the song, which makes it really easy to see if you're improving or not improving or doing just the same that you always were. For example, I didn't really improve here because I didn't hit enough pure notes. And when you're actually going into the score attack, it makes it so that you want to perform as best as possible. It's not about combos or specific specifying when you want to use some special ability or anything. It's actually all about skill, which is actually something I really, really enjoy. And I actually like that percentage system because it makes it so that I can gauge how well I'm doing. And so if I come back to a song, it's like, oh, I performed better. Or if I'm practicing a song, it's like, oh, I'm doing better or I'm doing worse. Or maybe I shouldn't hold the phone this way or something like that, which is pretty nice. And then over here, we got our reward, which is a bit from fragments, which actually go into my counter up here, which showed it a little bit earlier. And you got a partner bonus, which goes into the partner and stuff like that. And that's that. You can also share it online and stuff like that if you want. Um, it'll stop my recording if I do that, but there you go. And then you also have the sync here. Now, one thing about this is also you get a potential up here, which actually shows mine's 9.53 right now, which is decent. It says basically I should be trying to play nine... Um, nine difficulty songs, which makes sense, but you actually get a potential. So as you're playing, um, as we're playing through this, it'll probably show it going up and down, but that actually is basically just an arbitrary number, but it basically tries to show you a general skill rating. And so I'm basically at 9.5, essentially. So I'm able to play some of the nine difficulty songs here and there. There's a few of them that I can finish, but most of them I am doing abysmally terrible. As you can see, I am losing. Now talking more about this design here, when you're actually looking at the menu, when you go into the songs, you can actually see a different score rating. EX is going to be 98% or above, and then you have your AA, which is going to be 95% or above, and then A I think is 90, and then B is below that. I don't know what C is, but I did really bad on this song. 
It is absolutely awful. And you actually get your leaderboards over on the left side as well. So if I want to go on to a song or whatever that I did fairly decent at, you can actually see me over here on my on my ranking and you can sort through them. So if you're leaderboards, you can adjust to your friends or you can go to the world one so you can see people have actually cured these as well. Talking about that, you can actually full clear them as well. On the right side, you'll actually see that they have the full clear. And then you also have pure, which I pure this song specifically. Don't judge me. Um, and then I also have some other types of clears. There is a hard mode as well that you can enable through the characters. So you actually see this one has a rare C or red C, which means I cleared it on hard mode, which doesn't apply to full difficulties. Like I've cleared this one on hard mode as well, but if you can full clear, it doesn't really matter. It's so talking more about progression and stuff like that. So that was the basic notes and stuff like that. I'll show off some of the more difficult ones when we actually get into it. But you actually have different characters as well. So you can actually go in and select different characters that have different abilities. So for example, I unlock this one, which enables hard mode, which track loss when relocation reaches zero, which is kind of scary. So we're going to go ahead and use her, but they have different abilities and they have different stats as well. So if I go ahead and tap up here, you can actually see they have different levels and they level up, but they have fragments, which you know, changes how many fragments you'll get. And then you have your step and you have different types as well. So you have balanced ones, which is going to be your basic normal mode. And then you have easy ones, which actually make it so that you have an easy clear rather than a normal clear. And that can help you clear some of the more difficult songs if you're trying to unlock more songs. And then you have your hard ones, which make it so that you'll fail a song if something isn't reached. So it's just a challenge one. So we go ahead and use her while we're going through the world mode for a moment here. So in here, you actually get different chapters. I'm currently going through some stuff on chapter two, but you actually have different chapters. You can go to any chapter that you want. Chapter one is legacy. I'll talk about what that means in a moment, but I've actually cleared it. And so I can't really talk about it. But if you go in here, so here's the current chart that I'm on. But if you actually go in here, you actually see it has these little steps. Now I've progressed pretty dang far, but you'll actually have these little steps. Some of them will be restricted. Some of them will restrict your speed. Some of them will just play a random song, which is super frustrating when you select it and it picks literally the hardest song you have unlocked. And you're just sitting there like, oh, Oh, <laughs> and then you fail immediately and do absolutely horrible. Um, but yeah, so this is actually pretty interesting because it's kind of a little system here. I do have a complaint, however, about the business system because you'll see up in the top left here, this is an energy system. I don't like it. You can refill your energy using fragments. So if you're on a thousand fragments, you can use it to refill your energy once a day, which is pretty much enough for how much I play. I rarely ever get to actually using that much because I don't really play it that much but i do play the game a little bit every day but you can actually see on different chapters you'll have a complete here which means i already completed it and then you actually have different ones so this one would unlock a character for example so if i wanted to go on there i could and then if i wanted to go in here this is to unlock songs one thing to note about these is some of the world modes are really difficult to unlock so i've been kind of jumping around so for example on this one i kind of hit a wall to where it requires 50 steps which is quite a lot you earn about 10 to 15 steps per song and so uh yeah that's quite a bit but if i went in here for example this is at the very beginning so you actually see this one actually starts pretty basic so it, it kind of ranges all over but this one is also restricted so if i go into music play here it'll be like oh this is restricted to this song which i don't actually have unlocked so um i have that unlocked it's just on a different difficulty i'll talk about that a little bit later um but yeah so we'll go on to here go ahead and try to unlock a new bay and then uh, I don't remember what her name is. I'm just calling her that. And then we'll go in here and actually play whatever song it has up here. Oh, yeah, it's going to select any of these songs that were in this difficulty level. I could go on an easy song and not make fun of myself, but uh, that's not what I'm like. So we'll go ahead and talk about this one. So talking about more of the progression and stuff like that, I've actually found the progression to be annoying, I would say. It's... It's annoying because it has an energy system, which I don't particularly like. Now, it's not particularly difficult. Sorry, I was just wiping off my screen, which actually didn't help in the moment. My screen is getting pretty bad because uh, I forgot to clean it off earlier. Um, and my phone is starting to heat up, which makes it 10 times worse. But um, talking about progression, it's been a little bit annoying because it has that energy system, which basically restricts it. So when I actually play this game, I want to play it for, you know, an extended duration. I don't want to play it for like, you know, five minutes and then play something else. But again, the energy actually regenerates at, I think it's 30 minutes for one energy, and it costs two energy for, oops, I just fucked that up. Um, it costs two energy for one song, and it's gonna be really hard for me to explain this while playing the song because this is one of the songs I actually struggle with. This is actually my skill check song, I call it, to where I went after I practice or whatever, I go back and play this song and like try to practice it and see how well I do. I've cleared it a thousand one times, so it's not like I can't clear it. I'm just trying to talk while doing it, and that's difficult on a game like this. But um, in the legacy mode, I was talking about, I'd say, the uh, difference between it a little bit later. And basically what that is, is it, it's kind of like the older chapters they've unlocked. Because they're adding more content, it makes it harder and harder for people to catch up. And so on the legacy, what it does is it allows it to, instead of costing two energy, it costs one energy. Which means that basically you can progress through it twice as fast, basically. 
And uh, I used it to power level my characters a little bit, um, but you can actually use that to progress through and you can use fragments to kind of boost it up and stuff like that. Now I've completed everything in it because I wanted the character that you get at the end of it, which allows me to show off this hard mode, which you'll see on the left side. Whenever I miss a note, it kind of goes down and then I have to build it back up. And if it reaches zero, I fail the song, which there's actually no reason to really use it other than just challenge. So if you want to use it for like a challenge or something like that, which I like it because it's a nice little progression. My monitor just turned off. Oh God, now I can't see my voice clip. God dang it. Um, but yeah, oh my God, I hit it. All right, so I always miss one there. That was just pretty nice. Um, so, so yeah, it allows you to progress a little bit quicker, but yeah, I find the energy system to be annoying. If you could refill it with fragments over and over again, it does have a 24 hour wait time after you fill it with fragments and getting a thousand fragments isn't particularly easy. I mean, it's not difficult. You just play the game. And you actually earn them as you're progressing through the game. And then the game actually has a nice way to, come on monitor, turn back on. There we go. Now I can see my timer and everything again. Um, the game has a nice way of kind of rewarding you a little bit when you actually do better. And so the harder the song you're playing, the more um, rewards you'll get for steps and experience and things like that. So she, there you go. So she leveled up and stuff like that. So she levels up as you're playing songs. So nothing really different about the result screen here other than you get the character leveling up and stuff like that. Um, and you don't earn fragments while you're in world mode, which means you do have to play the music mode to unlock those fragments. Now you unlock fragments in world mode by getting these notes. So as you'll see, the step of the character actually boosted up whatever my play performance was, which how exactly that's calculated, I don't know, but uh, there we go. So that's how it kind of goes through. And so you can see it took two energy and I can refill it, use fragments, there you go. It's available once every 24 hours and you can refill it if you want. And you can extend it past it and it'll show a little plus sign there as well and so there you go so it'll take an hour to refill those two nodes so basically you get a song every hour which is annoying if you pay attention to it progressing through world mode is pretty smooth so over the last week i have actually cleared four of these actual chapters from zero to completion but um here's this so you can actually look at it i can't actually look at them because they're done but yeah legacy allows you to fast progress faster and everything so yeah so basically that's tutorials and stuff like that and at any point there are these little question marks you can click on for however that goes through um, so yeah, that's how the progression works. I find it annoying just because that energy system, which I've kind of ragged on because I was playing that song, which is actually pretty difficult. But um, yeah, it's it's fun. I'll go ahead and switch characters because I don't want to fail a song. <laughs> I don't want to make a fool of myself. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about the business model and stuff like that. So there are a little bit of secrets and things like that that you can unlock, but when it comes down to actually unlocking stuff, you can look on here. These are different packs and stuff like that. I did have to pay to unlock these packs. And so the way the business model works, if I go in here, I can go to obtain memories, which will be a $5 pack and a $1 pack. They don't have anything more than that. So it's basically $1 per song if you go into the memory archive. So for example, if I go in here, it'll say obtain 100 memories. So it's basically a dollar to unlock a song that isn't in a pack and then to unlock a pack. So for example, if I went to Vicious Labyrinth and I look at all these songs, it'll be like, oh, that was, you know, $5 and you got one, two, three, four, five songs plus a bonus one. Sometimes it comes with a bonus one, sometimes it doesn't. Packs also come with, oops, I didn't mean to click that button. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to click that button. Ah, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so when you actually go back into the packs as well, freaking hell. Um, when I go back into the packs as well, you can actually, wait. Yeah, so there it goes. So you can actually see it unlocks characters through the world mode as well. So when you actually go back into the world mode, it will actually unlock nodes inside of the world nodes. So for example, the one that I'm progressing through right now, if I wanted to progress through this one, I had to unlock packs. And there's some that are secret and stuff like that as well. So talking about my final notes as I kind of get into the business model and stuff like that, like I enjoy the business model. I think it's pretty dang nice. Um, so, I mean, there's there's my notes on it. Um, I, I think it's fair. I think a dollar per song is very reasonable and you're able to kind of, you know, get as many songs as you want. And it's not, you know, overbearing. And once you unlock them, you can play them offline at any moment in time, which is the big benefit here because I hate when I play for a something and then I can't use it when I'm offline. Now that makes sense in something that would require online connectivity to actually function like an online multiplayer game. But this game is all leaderboards and stuff like that. Now you can't submit your scores online if you actually want to like, you know, get into the leaderboards and stuff like that. So if you're offline, you can't be like, oh, I'm going to go offline, cheat, and then go back online. No, that doesn't. That doesn't work. This is a fairly more complex song as well, so you can actually go through and see some of the more difficult stuff. This is an eight difficulty? Yeah, oops, I was looking at the, I was looking at the difficulty and I screwed up, oh no. Uh, make myself look like a fool. Um, so yeah, this is one of the songs I've actually gotten fairly decent. I actually like the song. I've had to practice it quite a bit, especially this early segment, so I'll try and do fairly decent here. But yeah, as fairly, 
some fair notes. I will show off some of the earlier difficulty stuff after we finish this song. But for the most part, I enjoy this. And why do I enjoy it is because it has some really fun designs. And I think the kind of art style, the direction into it, the fact that it's simple, the fact that I can play it offline is a huge freaking plus because I don't always have the availability to go online. And whenever I disconnect, yes, it does have a performance issue every once in a while, which I'm not 100% sure if it's the game or if it's Android, just screwing things up. Oops. Oh my God, I'm missing notes left and right. This is not good. No, it is not really good. If I'm missing notes, oh my God, I just wanna put all the notes. <laughs> oh my God, that was beautiful. Uh, that's gonna be my ringtone for the next three days. Um, so. Yeah, it has some really interesting things, and there's some really interesting secrets you can find as well. And the actual gameplay itself, combined with the scoring system, shows me how well I'm progressing, and it allows me to actually gauge my skill. And the fact that I can play it offline and doesn't have an energy system to playing songs, aside from the world mode, which is for unlocked, which is sort of excusable for the simple fact that I can play any of the songs that I've unlocked at any moment in time. Now I'm shaking because I'm terrified. All right. Probably going to be a little bit quieter when I'm playing this song because it's a little bit challenging. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy the game because it has a fair amount of challenge, which is always nice. And it also has those systems to where I can view exactly how well I'm performing at any given time. And it just allows you to get better, which isn't something that you see on a lot of mobile rhythm games. And the business model being fair, the art style being good, the localization being perfect as well for the different regions and stuff like that. So if you're either in English or Japanese, I believe the company is UK. So I think English is its base language, but they are looking for people. Oh, Frick! I didn't want to do that. Oh my god! Dun, 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 dun. I, I haven't cleared this song yet, so I'm kind of like wanting to... Oh my god, if I finish it while recording, I'd be so happy. But this shows off one of the songs that requires four notes, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But yeah, it, it has a good amount of challenge, and it's incredibly fun to play through. Now, I will say, my biggest complaint with the game so far has been the fact that, for one, they have limited time events every once in a while that last two days basically they're not long enough um but also there's the four notes or whatever don't ask how i'm doing that um so yeah they have the limited events that don't last very long but they also have uh the lower difficulty stuff whoops there we go um they have the lower difficulty stuff that isn't particularly interesting in its design i'll show it off a little bit later after i fail this song inevitably oh my god hit all the notes please and thank you um yeah i can't talk while doing this this is I am literally like really excited to clear this song if I can record it while or finish it while recording. That would be lovely. Please life. No. Oh my God, I'm gonna fail. That's terrible. As you can see, I'm not very good at this game. Um, yeah, so it has a con constant amount of challenge, but when you're actually starting out, it does have some boring chart design. So I did have to play for free for a little bit while and see where I was going. Now, this was an anomaly. You'll unlock them as you play through them and fail over and over again, which I'll eventually beat that one. I know I can. I'm just trying to record and my focus is split. But when you actually don't finish it, you get less fragments and stuff like that. So it has a nice way to kind of challenge you a little bit while also giving you a slight reward when you're playing higher difficulties and stuff like that. You'll get a better little reward and stuff like that. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, but yeah, to, to show off some of the lower difficulty stuff, I'll go ahead and go on to a past song or something like that. I'll play one of the songs I like quite a bit. Um, where is it? I'll show off the most basic one and actually show off the absolute easiest as it can go just for the sake of completion. I like that song because it's happy. Um, we'll do we'll do Paradise. Um, I'll go ahead and select. Uh, we'll play hard mode on a very, very easy song and then I'll turn the note speed all the way down just to show off what it's like. Um, yeah, I enjoy the game. The problem is the design on some of the earlier difficulties is kind of boring, but once you get past that, it doesn't really matter. And when you're at these kind of lower difficulties, the, one of the reasons why... It, that's not a big complaint is because it's hard to make really interesting charts without also making it challenging when you get into a lot of the different um, Chart layouts and stuff like that. There's really interesting things like some of the songs like to play around with speed some of them like to this is This is how slow it is on uh, one speed. So you can actually play the hardest difficulty if you want on the speed This is boring as frick <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so it actually gets pretty dang easy, but at the same time it does get somewhat more challenging once you actually start getting into all the songs. I'm going to turn that all the way back up to four. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Um, but yeah, so getting back into some of the music and stuff of like that, it is, it's a fun game. 
like that's that's pretty much all there is to it and that's really all i have left to say about it it's it's fantastic i do have a complaint about you know checking for updates and stuff like that when you actually want to find updates you have to go through their social media which is basically their twitter or their uh um whatchamacallit it their uh, discord which i'm currently in which allows me to look at their updates and stuff like that. For example, they uh, have an update that's coming out or whatever soon, and the only way to find out about it is through their Discord or Twitter, and Twitter is terrible for finding updates thanks to their algorithm sorting. But some songs will play with the speed and things like that, and sometimes they'll have different sort of weird things that they end up doing with the songs of that and obviously i don't want to show off everything and i can't within this video because i'm pretty much at the end but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this one and of course you can leave a comment below for what you end up thinking of the game or if you end up finding other types of mobile games you want me to end up checking out and make sure to leave those as well i am checking out a few other rhythm games and some action games that i was looking into for quite a while i know this game isn't particularly new and updates will obviously change things as they go along Currently, I enjoy it, and I currently enjoy what is on offer. One thing to uh, note as well, though, about this business model that is kind of a problem is that the uh, buying cost increases if you want to unlock all the songs, which is a little bit annoying, but you don't have to unlock all the songs right away, but that might annoy some people. My uh, recording is starting to screw up, and so I don't know how well this is performing, and I'm starting to miss notes. Uh, I've done that part perfectly before. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I just had to end my video on cringe. I'm sorry. Don't judge me.